What's up photography fans, it's Martin from All About Street Photography channel and as you know I usually talk here about all kinds of street photography and photojournalism. The photo I would like to talk about today is a photo that changed the war in Vietnam. A very important photo in the history of photography. Let's check out The Terror of War by Nick Wood. The Terror of War, or also known as The Napalm Girl, is a Pulitzer Prize winning photograph taken by photojournalist Nick Wood, a Vietnamese American photographer who was working for the Associated Press at that time. After his brother was killed in 1965, at the age of 27, Nick joined AP the year after. He was first working in the darkroom and later became a combat photographer, just like his brother. The photo we are looking at was taken with Leica M2 Kodak 400 Triax film, as only 400 and 200 versions were available in Vietnam. The camera still exists and is stored in a museum in Washington DC. On June 7, uh, Ud heard about fighting in a village, Tran Ban. He photographed the refugees and planes dropping bombs. The civilians were caught in between North Vietnamese, who were trying to take control of the village and South Vietnamese troops who were trying to defend it. One of the planes dropped a napalm bomb on North Vietnamese positions. However, the bomb mistakenly hit Tran Ban and civilians. Kim Phuc and other villagers were hiding in the temple in the village. As the bombs were exploding everywhere, villagers ran out from the temple as they thought it would be targeted as well, when suddenly another plane dropped the napalm bombs. People were running out of the location hit by the bomb. Women were carrying burned children. People were in panic. When Nick looked through his viewfinder, he saw terrifying children and among them a naked girl, nine-year-old girl, Kim Phuc, running and crying. As he saw her skin falling away, he put down his camera and brought water for the girl. He picked her up and brought her to his car with other children and took her to the hospital. There he found that she might not survive because she had suffered third-degree burns on 30% of her body. So he helped to transfer her to an American hospital where they were able to save her life. When he sent his picture to the AP's office, the photo was actually about to be rejected since the rules for publishing nudity were very strict. In the end, uh, the editors agreed that the value of the picture and the news is higher than the reservations about nudity. Which is actually funny because in 2016, Facebook actually censored the photograph. Mark Zuckerberg was accused of abusing his power and after widespread criticism from news organizations and media experts across the globe, Facebook actually backed down and allowed the photograph to be published. Now, when we think about it, uh, if a photo like this one would be taken today, would it even be allowed to be published? Let me know what you think uh, in the comments. As any other famous photograph, this one is also a little controversial. At first, some people, including then-president Richard Nixon, doubted that the, the photo was authentic. Wood later said, the picture for me, and unquestionably for many others, could not have been more real. The photo was as authentic as the Vietnam War itself. Nixon suggested that the photo was fake and the girl was perhaps burned with oil since no one ever survived Nepal bombing until then. However, the bombing was also caught on TV cameras which proved the photo to be real. The photo was also initially published cropped. Uh, the first version was published without the soldier reviving his film. Nick Wood said in the interview on Petapixel that the search was David Burnett. As the civilians were running out of the fire, everyone was terrified and all the photographers and TV cameras started taking pictures. David Burnett uh, ran out of film and was desperately trying to rebind it. When he finally did, he also took pictures of Kim. Now, the picture had definitely bigger impact without the figure of a soldier looking like not caring too much. 
especially when the people didn't know he was actually trying to document the accident. Let me know what you think about cropping and especially cropping photo like that. Nick later said, I wanted to stop this war. I hated war. My brother told me I hope one day you have a picture that stops the war. And on June 8, 1972, Nick Wood took just a picture like that. A picture that stopped the war. The photograph is said to be one of the most memorable photographs of 20th century. As Saigon fell, he moved out of Vietnam and eventually settled in LA. He spent more than 50 years as photojournalist, photographing famous events, politics and celebrities, but his most known photo was actually taken at the beginning of his career and, in my opinion, had the biggest impact. Wood won World Press Photo and Pulitzer Prize for the picture in 1973. In 2012 he was inducted by the Leica Hall of Fame for his contributions to photojournalism. Ken Fuchs survived and she and Nick Wood met again after the end of the Vietnam conflict. Wood said he was very happy when he looked at the picture because it changed the war. Thank you for watching today's story behind the photograph. If you liked it, feel free to give it a like. Uh, subscribe for more content like this and I will see you next time.